What is up you guys? It's your boy Tony Holiday back at it again with another video. It has been a while and I apologize for that, but it's time for me to make some more videos. You guys have been really leaving some great comments on what I should do and therefore I think it's time for me to get to work and start making some more. Today, we're going to be looking at something that is a staple in a lot of popular music today and that is Cable Guys Halftime. One of my favorite plugins to use. A lot of people really use it. Halftime, it adds a lot of great low end to your tracks. It's really popular in trap and EDM and electronic music and honestly, in my opinion it's a must have for any producer to have. I'm gonna actually go through the mechanics of halftime and how the algorithm works. You don't actually have to have the plugin, you can just use Logic stock plugins to make the halftime sound and I'm gonna show you how to do that with audio files as well as MIDI. With that being said you guys, let's get straight into it. This is the mechanics of halftime with Tony Holiday in Logic Pro. So here we go guys, brand new blank slate. I'm actually gonna grab an Apple loop to start off and then we're gonna half time that. So I kinda wanna grab a MIDI one and then we'll actually half time it and then I'll do as well when we bounce it out to audio to show you how you can do that. I really like these 12 string dreams because they have just like a lot going on. So when you half time them, it actually gives a really cool sound. 12 string dream nine. Half time, if we throw that on there, I've downloaded this from Cable Guys. Halftime stereo. This is what it looks like when you have the demo version. You're gonna have to wait uh, five seconds every time you wanna open it. So it's kind of annoying, but once you open it, it's fully functional. It has everything with it that you need to make it happen. And this is the default setting. So let's take a listen to what our sample sounds like with this on top. So already cool, because if you were to throw this under the original sample, it's just gonna fill out the low end so nicely. It's gonna bring a lot of cool stuff with it just by having it in the lower end. It's gonna make the track feel more filled out, if you know what I mean. Obviously, that's super easy. You can throw that plugin on there. We have all these different loop times. So we have up from 1 16th all the way up to eight bars, and I'll explain how that works in just a moment. For now, we're gonna stick to the one bar setting, and I'm gonna show you the two bar setting as well. So let's stick with the one bar for now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this twice, we're going to drag that down twice. And I did that by grabbing the MIDI file and I press option on my keyboard and then drag it down and release. I'm going to name this one one bar, pardon me, one bar, and this one will be two bar. The way that halftime works, guys, is what it does is it takes your original sample, it pitches it down 12 semitones or 1200 cents, and then it actually takes the region, chops it up, and slows it down. I'm going to show you the mechanics of how that works right now. Let's start with this one bar one here. So we're going to press T on our keyboard to bring up our cursor selection, and we're going to select scissors tool. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to go just the halfway in between the first and second bar here. So this one, three, we're gonna chop it by holding option and then clicking there and then we'll say okay to split. And what that does is if you actually hold option when you're splitting something with the scissors tool, it will uh, split it into equal parts as long as the region is, which is super helpful in this case. The two bar, what we're gonna do is they're actually gonna split it right on the two here. And because it's just a two bar region and we're just splitting it to one bar, we don't have to hold option this time to split it. Now we have the two different regions. One of them has four now equally chopped regions and one of them has two. For the one bar, this is the one that we're gonna focus on because that's the sound that we're trying to mimic that I just played for us. We're actually going to erase the second portion of the region there and the fourth portion, which leaves us with just these two, the one and the three. We can drag this out and then command J to join it. This is what's gonna sound like with that. It's essentially half of our loop, but taken from the second portion and the fourth portion of the bar. So to halftime this, essentially what we would do, we would open up the MIDI region. This is what our uh, whole MIDI region looks like here. We're gonna command A and shift option down to shift everything down 12 semitones. And now this is what we have here. So we've already done half of what the halftime algorithm does. Now what we need to do is actually make it longer or half speed it. Command A, functions, MIDI transform and half speed and then operate only. We see this here, we can drag that out. We can split this up again, delete the second and fourth portions, drag that back to make it our original two bar section. Now let's take a listen to what this sounds like.
compare with the one bar halftime that we set with the plugin, they're identical. Let's do that again, but we'll do it with the two bar region. I'll show you how that works. This is again, our original MIDI sample with. Now to make this halftime, but we're actually gonna use the two bar loop version. We're going to delete the second portion. This is gonna be now the portion that we are gonna half speed and bring down. So first step, Command A to select all, Shift Option down. Now we can Functions, MIDI Transform, Half Speed. Operate only. We can extend our MIDI region. And now this is what it's gonna sound like with the two bar. Just to kind of reference with the plugin, we'll go back to that. Open demo, use the two bar loop section here and play. And they're identical. So that's how you can do the halftime without the halftime plugin and doing it with a MIDI region. Now let's show you how to do it with an audio region as well. This is gonna be helpful if you're using loops from Splice or maybe someone sent you some loops. This is gonna be the way that you're gonna halftime that if you don't want to use the plugin. We can get rid of the MIDI ones here and we're going to take the halftime off by just clicking off on our channel strip here, bounce that in place to audio and we'll duplicate that again as well. And we'll name it one bar and two bar. Oh, again, let's start with the one bar. So we will take the mute off of that bounced MIDI region, add the halftime and we're going to do the one bar loop again. This is how you're going to do it with an audio region. Let's get our scissors tool out by pressing T and then I on our keyboard and we're going to cut these both at the same areas. So for the one bar, we're cutting it at the half bar mark and press option and then click to do the three, the four equal cuts. And on the two bar, we're gonna cut it at the one bar region because we're gonna be stretching it to two bars essentially. And we don't need to press option on this one. Delete the second portion. And for the one bar, delete the second and fourth portion on that. So we're gonna go with one bar here. These are our two regions. This is what it's gonna sound like just right now. Now, because it's audio, there's it's not the same as MIDI where you have some release to it or attack or things like that. It just cuts right off as soon as the audio region's done. That's where using MIDI versus audio can be kind of different and nice. And depending on which one you want to do can really be helpful in that way as well. Now what we're going to do is grab flex. So we're going to hit this uh, flex button right here. And under the one bar, we're going to go down to flex time speed in brackets effects. And it kind of just did a little bit of a change there. Now, because I'm on this track and I have both of these selected, if I actually just get that portion there. So if you do the bottom side, this will just extend the audio region. This will actually um, enable the flex to happen. So we'll click that and we're going to extend this out. And now we've made our nice two bar loop again. We can turn flex off here. We want it to remain on the track because that's going to actually kind of lock it in there. But we'll go out of flex mode by press pressing this button. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like. and compare with the halftime. And now let's do the same thing with the two bar. Two bar, turn on flex, click monophonic in the drop down menu and go to flex time speed effects, drag it out to two bars, turn off flex mode and play. Test it again against the plugin, click to the two bar loop and play it. So there you have it guys. That's essentially how you can do halftime with the Cable Guys halftime plugin, which is essential in my opinion. And it's a free demo download with full functionality. Highly recommend going and getting it. Show those guys some love. But let's say you're on a budget and you wanna be able to do it on more than one track. You can do it within Logic by using it either the MIDI way I showed you or the audio way, depending on which way you wanna go. Audio is really great when you're using samples and things like that. I actually kinda of like to do the MIDI way if possible because it allows for that release and attack. And because they're actually synthesized notes that they're making, it's gonna sound better in the long run, in my opinion. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give your boy a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, I'm always putting out more videos. Although this was a little bit of a break, I apologize for that. But hit subscribe, guys. Gonna be making tons more videos. Signing off once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.